you're probably thinking, how is someone like Captain Cold even a villain for the Flash or a threat for the Flash? Other than the fact he make a literal cold shield that can literally follow him on the battlefield and stop stuff on the spot if you don't have enough speed. Something to where if you jump in the cold field in his vicinity, it will literally freeze you on the spot. It literally follows him too. Like doing its job without necessarily having to shoot anything, it's like a literal field around him. But of course, that's one of the many reasons why Captain Cold is a threat. Captain Cold is one of those guys that you wouldn't think that he would be much of a threat for a powerhouse tier like the Flash himself, but there's actually more layers to his character than you probably think though. Even though he's epic with the ice though, you gotta admit with that cold gun. A common thing DC likes to do is retcon and give characters different origins and stuff or not explain it all in one sitting. Leonard Snart started off as a you know regular old central city crook in order to do this he was trying to look for a way to mobilize the flash or at least compete with him here you can see him analyzing flash's speed on how he has his own theories on how he can neutralize flash's speed the special weapon the theory was that cyclotron might effectively interfere with the flash's speed if he can incorporate the special power in a special weapon so that's when he decided to break into a lab to expose his gun to special radiation and then that's when he discovered that his gun can literally shoot out ice freeze people in a solid block of ice and that's when he got like an official costume a uniform of his own and this was back in the silver age as well throughout all his continuities he's an ice based type character but he has went through some evolutionary changes one of them being in newer comics him actually having the superpowers of ice but i'm gonna get to that later on i'd say for the majority of his career he always used ice guns or even more than one when it comes to just being a flash type threat or a rogues gallery of the flash because it's silver age it can even do looney tuney stuff because silver age comics didn't really make much sense <laughs> like it can make him a ride okay i guess this could make some sense on why he gives flash trouble sometimes make him a ride just for trickery but it's not something that would make him like a reverse flash level threat necessarily or anything silver age didn't explain much of his origin but in newer stuff like post crisis showed a little bit more of his origin it even say how he grew up in trailer trash outside of central city origin that never got explained in pre-crisis i'm assuming this same origin happened in pre-crisis too they just didn't say it maybe they're just trying to expand his history in the newer stuff even though they never said it back in the day like that not to mention he has a sister known as the Golden Glider, one of the rogues he got along with the most. These two were the children of an abusive father. Yeah, very abusive. A drunk. I'm not promoting criminal behavior, but usually criminals that do things have some type of reason or substance behind what they do. And that's kind of what Captain Cold is, has shown when it comes to his origins. But how strong is he? Well, how strong is his gear? He's pretty smart too. He built a smaller version of the Cold Gun while he was in prison. He found parts in prison to do stuff like this, which is pretty insane. This tiny refrigerated unit built it during the past year out of scraps of metal. Everybody else is hot and miserable from the heat, but he's good because he can do wonders with ref refrigeration. Use this refrigeration to affect these iron bars to make them brittle, to break them like that. Very cold. Made it brittle as glass that quickly refrigeration part they even state conditions of extreme cold near absolute zero even the hardest substance becomes brittle it can even do the job against humans this little smaller version to escape they explain it more about his escape he manufactured out of spare freezer parts in the prison workshop his free stuff that he concocts makes him more of a threat to his intelligence how he made a new organic compound to reform your treads had a new friction proof compound launched him out of his shoes by making new inventions for his cold stuff. Before we get started, the gun itself, explained in post-crisis era stuff, is that, that it negates thermal motion, stops protons and electrons dead in their tracks, so it's kind of hexy. It's not just straight ice like you think. It literally kind of does stuff to you on the molecular level, stopping protons, electrons, and stuff of that such, which is why it even affects top-tier powerhouses. In more newer stuff, it's explained more on how his cold gun works, on how people think it's literally just a freeze gun it's not a freeze gun it's a cold gun old buddy tried to say that's the same difference he said no it's not the same difference i don't freeze things i eliminate movement altogether i stop adam's cold i am the man who mastered absolute zero so yeah it can freeze on, the, on some molecular level type stuff it's not just cold movement just stops period even the smallest atom stop moving he doesn't even need his finger on the trigger he has voice activation on his gun you can see on this occasion the gun is out of his hand so he has a lot of tricks up his sleeve when it comes to his freaking cold gun no leg other than his cold gun he has a cold belt that also functions as an IC that has IC abilities too but it just, he just doesn't seem to use it as much despite him always wearing the cold belt he even has freeze grenades on top of all this. This grenade was crazy. It froze the entire iron height. That's a lot of 
ice it produced. This one little grenade. He knows how to make himself look like he's dead because of his intelligence. He also gave himself ice power for a limited time thanks to his intelligence. He has a sub-zero metabolic trend. That's Silver Age comics for you. He understands how Mirror Master's powers work and knows how to reverse it. Captain Cold and more newer stuff surprised Lex Luthor with his intelligence. Built a cold gun. For somebody that graduated high school, he was able to do such things when it comes to intelligence. Fabricating a weaponized cold engine. This could be one way of saying this is street smart, just figuring it out, just trial and error. Lex is surprised by this intelligence. This dude even built a modified cold gun in some newer stuff. For those still wondering why he's a flash person, it literally states cold's new gun. The ice isn't just hitting his body, it's disrupting the speed force inside of him. I can't vibrate through this ice. So yeah, he has a literal gun that can literally counter the speed force. A modified one, thanks to his intelligence. One could say Captain Cold with prep time will be deadly. How he studied every piece he could get in his hands until he can make this new gun's engine tap into the very thing that's given him hell for so long. The speed force to tap into it itself. It's part of the reason why he's such a threat for him. They even state if he was a good guy, this would help out the good people a lot. Here's an explanation on his glasses he wears. They apparently protect your eyes from flare of gunfire. You probably thought his outfit was just for show. Even his glasses, they all have a purpose. He even got a radio in his visor to monitor police bands. Mr. Freeze even implies that Captain Cole is technically better when it comes to freezing stuff. And his tech is the only thing that can do such a thing. The power of this freeze grenade was crazy because literally Black Lantern and Eobor Thorn could not get out of his eyes freezing atoms and stuff it's it's broken even for speed studio y'all this ice gun was so overpowered he could make like a ice fist like on some green lantern construct creation type stuff ain't that funny the ages people what the heck can someone make that make sense making people go in their prime how the heck does ice de-age you he knocked flash into pieces like a jigsaw puzzle implying that he can do unrealistic stuff via matter manipulation if you go below absolute zero it's like breaking physics i guess so since he's breaking physics by going below absolute zero he can do weird stuff like that i guess the guy even froze star sapphire's constructs freezing energy he can freeze the spaces between your body molecules captain code even has a much larger winter gun Call it the winter eyes of the ice his way. <laughs> his cold gun created an ice giant to fight Flash. This is actually giving Flash competition. Can we make it make sense? How is this frost giant creating lightning because he's ice? Like, what the heck? Flash countered this because he just went speed of light. Does this gun have, like, magical properties we don't notice? Because this seems beyond scientific at this point. Back to the Mirages thing I brought up earlier. He even stated he can... I'm talking about the illusions he made. Stated he learned how to animate his icy creations and even have them follow a routine. Like, the ice creations are alive. Like, on some Elsa from Frozen type stuff, having alive constructs or something. It was even a Mirage where he disguised himself as Barry Allen. What the heck? Made a mirage of a huge butterfly. Tricks Jay Garrick with a mirage. Who is a speedster type character. He's disappearing. Yeah, he's not real, Jay. Plenty of different mirages over the years. Like a giant insect to really fool the Flash. Create several mirages at once to fool the Flash. In this first real occasion with him. <laughs> it's crazy how he made a polar bear mirage from an ice gun. But that's none of my business. But when it comes to his ice generation or blast power. He can generate ice that's strong enough to. One can say contain beings like the Flash for a temporary amount of time to some degree. Element of ice can be hexy if it gets to a certain level low temperature. For example, something as durable as a vault being frozen solid by his ice gun, it becomes so brittle he can just break it with a giant hammer. It just kind of breaks down the durability of something when something's so cold. He does the same thing to metal bars, make them brittle to break it like that. Generates a force of large icicles. Obviously, he can cool down people with his ice. With heat wave, he canceled out his flamethrower. Like he froze up here and then it froze down here. That makes sense. One can argue he can fly thanks to his cold gun because he can just make blocks of ice mid-air. They melt, then he can make another one to step on it and then kind of do it like that. Solid ice stepping on and stepping stone, solid ice. Freezes someone else his gun and kind of shown on this occasion with golden glider of course one can say he can fly by making a ice slide you know ice slide something ice people always do to give themselves decent traversal have some decent movement right captain code is no exception to this his ice gun is so powerful it can freeze you solid very fast where it only takes five tenths of a second this frigo blast will freeze every cell in your body to minus a thousand degrees. In this particular occasion, he kept himself safe from Wally West by making this massive snowball around himself. Surprised Wally West in the process of doing this, creating a big ice <laughs> around himself by shooting a whole bunch of time. Think about it. If you could do this to speech, just imagine what normal human gotta deal with. Just like how on this occasion he 
froze this being no head after the freeze then just can break through steel bars captain cold has no problem freezing your jaw first then straight up punching you with his physicals adding in melee combat with his ice gun is also epic even kryptonian type beings like superboy at least stunning him at least right not necessarily beating him or nothing he was fighting a mirror world version of himself made a version of himself slip by making the icy ground he froze tar pit's arm somebody was giving issues to a flag he can make different modes to where he can choose to only freeze your skin not necessarily freeze your insides this is kind of good for a villain to be able to torture so your insides still feel nice and warm it's kind of like a torture technique he even states it usually freezes the targets solid they go numb and never feel any pain he made it to where he can feel this can we respect how fast his ice constructs can be made literally throwing the guy first and as the guy's falling he makes ice to land on can make large ice wall in this occasion he froze wally west then impale somebody with an ice spike him and heat wave always be going at it heat versus ice another case of freezing someone then shattering them oh yet another case of making a massive ice wall another case of him countering fire attacks like on this case with kid devil his cold gun is literally countering it because he can he can freeze you in a non-lethal manner like what he did in the mirror master he can not only freeze you instantly but he can also in newer stuff freeze amazo with the help of superman of course using his ice breath patient zero amazo in the new 52 stuff using a cold gun you're probably thinking captain cole ain't that strong couldn't the flash just speed blitz him and take his gun out of his hand destroy the gun throw the gun into the sun or something before he can even think because the flash is that fast well that would be true if he didn't have any defenses see if the flash tried to actually blitz him like that depending on the circumstances he can literally create an absolute zero shield around himself where all of the space within this certain range is absolute zero cold to where even if he walks it's still producing absolute zero temperature if you don't have enough speed to get through it. this is one demonstration of it with the cold field here how is literally stopping bullets because he has a literal shield around him shown here it's a wall of negative thermodynamics the molecules in the air are absorbing all the kinetic energy that hits them it's not a simple just speed blitz him and it's over type of kid but of course you can't break through it if you have enough speed they even say nothing short of the flash has enough momentum to break through and even then it'll slow him down to a crawl to where it can kind of even the odds on whatever speed he does lack if he gets inside this radius of this field it can kind of slow down the flash to where he can kind of compete with him since he's a normal human just shoot him before he puts the field up well that ain't going to help if his field is already up in the battle because it will literally slow things down it absorbs all the kinetic energy in the air then he can just shoot you afterward notice how it moves with captain cole while he walking so it's literally a shield around him this cold field stopped the bottle in this occasion the writers have even acknowledged that flash is fast enough to straight on speed blitz him before he can even do anything but this is their explanation to why he's a threat captain cole even says yeah you could probably race over here dismantle my cold gun before i could even think about firing showing that his combat speed is nowhere near flashes if he hadn't already taken precaution generated a cold field around you just like old times generated a cold field around you just like old times you run through that doesn't matter how fast you're going you'll slow down and i will win the draw this is for all those people out there that don't really know why he's even a flash villain considering he technically shouldn't be fast enough and this is their explanation for it in this occasion dialogue with the flag so in a way he technically doesn't even need to shoot his cold gun for it to freeze your arm to the point where you can shatter it if you just try to punch him and the cold feels around we'll literally just do that and you have no arm so it's not as simple as you think not any old speech such as you can always speed blitz thanks to his icy shield he can kind of counter a speed force person and who's to say he can't make his cold field even wider to expand his range of area of effect slowing down atoms protons and stuff within the vicinity of this without even having to shoot his cold field even countered lightning blast this is from an alternate universe flashpoint but their powers are pretty much the same as the the main one so I, I just had to include this in the video in this occasion having two guns when he decided to use his cold belt he was able to impulse an absolute cold across the city plunging every one into a state of suspended animation them two were the exception because he took care to protect us by negative radiation he said he even stated that nothing can enter this ice cold barrier the entire central city was literally cut off to the point even the flag had problems getting through this ridiculous ice barrier but he was eventually able to bust through though <laughs> the flash could you know that's the flash though but yeah he had to put effort into it the cold gun has enough blast power to freeze skyscrapers days of even clashed with superman's heat vision for quite a bit bro that's insane he did get overpowered but this was just a temporary thing while it is true he's not as fast as the flash when it comes to combat he definitely has defenses with the cold shield to where it slows you down if you get in a certain vicinity of him when it comes to his physicals obviously he's not as strong as people like flash when it comes to his raw punching power but his physicals are pretty decent to some 
some degree, but that's not what he shines at. His weaponry and intelligence is probably what he shines at more. One could say he has marksmanship, though, when it comes to his, like, just reflexes in general, though. Like on many occasions where he can outdraw folk, it's implied he's very fast when it comes to fighting speed, because even when he was threatened by a hundred, it was a hotel filled with 200 armed men and army. You got a dozen automatic staring at you. You're not in no position to threaten anyone. Despite all this, he said, I might look that way, Jack, but I promise I'll take these idiots out before they can even blink. He even he even talks about it. I'm used to tangling with someone that moves at the speed of light. So he's saying that him consistently fighting against the flag used to making quick decisions in situations based on a speed type character he's always fighting. And these are just normal humans training their guns at him. So he's saying that's nothing to him. In this occasion, you can kind of see his speed, but some of this is thanks to his cold field slowing things down, but he was able to fire faster than they can react though still after they shot him at least once. They probably were shocked at the fact that they didn't do nothing at first. In this occasion, he dodges heat waves flamethrower. Strength wise, we've seen him lift up grown men over his head like it ain't nothing. Punches Mirror Master through a solid wall with his punching power. So when his physicals are probably still in low tier superhuman levels for no reason, because that's just how comic book humans are. Like, look at Batman. He ain't got no powers. He still can do superhuman stuff. In this occasion with Catwoman, despite her doing superhuman human stuff a lot too he's able to do a quick draw on her on catwoman tags hammer while in the grip tags wally west you know when he was blitzing him and he countered him with the cold beam of course freezes several gunmen before they can even fire on him he created ice glaciers that can literally just keep growing even stated by a flash to be unbreakable to boot the reason why he can produce all this cold stuff all the time is because he has a belt that makes it to where he just doesn't get frozen all the time he has this quick freeze ability that allows him to go to sub-zero suspended animation for hibernation he has physically overpowered penguin though somebody that's not that physically impressive you can see the ice literally getting in front of him stopping him in his tracks green lanterns are ridiculously fast no telling how fast he was flying in this particular instance but yeah it's just something to note when it comes to his freeze gun it shoots at a proc Approximately a thousand feet per second comes to the speed of the actual gun itself. That'll give you some idea of how fast it can shoot. He's physically knocked around heat wave with just straight physical. His freeze gun has even frozen clay face before. The freeze gun isn't necessarily just raw cannons or nothing. It's literally just ice and stuff and that such. But how much power can it produce? We know it can produce ice very large in a very short amount of time. Even if you want to argue his ice belt can produce with preparation an ice sized structure around the city that's very massive. You can look at it in a few ways when it comes to his raw power. What's stopping Captain Cold from creating a very large mountain-sized ice block above the city and then letting it drop? Technically, wouldn't that mean he can produce city-shattering of force if he can just create something that big and then let gravity do its work? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of a cheat code way of thinking about how much power he has if you let the momentum do the work of creating something that big. I mean, his ice construct was strong enough to give flash issues like a literal frost giant. Let's hypothetically say he has his freeze gun, right? He shoots his freeze gun in the air, creating a whole bunch of big chunks of ice in the air. Technically, he could level a city or a country if he blasted with enough ice and it just, the gravity uses velocity to land on a city, it would just break it apart. He did create an ice-sized dome around Central City that was so cold even flash had issues punching through it but he got through it but he had issues think about it he not only froze a lake in a very short amount of time but he can blast with enough force to freeze an entire lake Physically speaking, he did take a blow from Gorilla Grodd, though. So yeah, he's a beast with his coat gun and gear and etc. when it comes to his eyes. But what if I told you he legit got ice ability? Thanks to this genome recorder, it's going to rewrite our DNA to incorporate our power into us, aka their weapons. It's going to make us superhuman, like the Flash, like legit metahumans. Instead of just having standard gear that's overpowered, they're actually going to be overpowered with superpowers. Like he legit has cryokinesis where he can blast ice out of his hands and he can make, he can enhance his striking power by putting ice around his fist like he's like on some Iceman stuff. Freeze the power ring and instead he can block automatic gunfire. A lot of similar stuff he can do with his cold gun, but he just has the ability now. Breaks open a bank vault, creates stadium sized ice structures. He made ice so Mirror Master can complement it by making it reflective. When it comes to all that blast he can produce. With his newfound power, he even knocked out the flash with a sucker punch. Can create stairs for himself, preserve bodies, a lot of similar things, just like his cold gun. I mean, he can even freeze the surrounding environment by shooting omnidirectional attacks when he's real mad. Literally, in seconds, create thick walls of ice like that. Even if you just try to straight up punch his flesh, just by punching him, it can kind of make your arm freeze a little bit just from punching him in this state. 
And in this state, he can still do the famous cold field. It's basically proving that he can still do old stuff that he did with his cold gun, but he can do it with his powers now. So whatever his cold gun can do back then, he technically should be able to do now. It might be even scarier since he's superpowered. Thanks to this, it kind of dampens or weakens his speed to help him be able to even the odds and be able to react to Flash. It even slows down his combat speed. It stays high. My reaction time, my sensory neurons all dampen when I'm close enough to him to hit him. He even freezes a rip. One could say his ice could be like his way of super strength, how he can lift up gigantic ships with his ice he created that strong enough to do this. Don't forget that it's like Captain Cole literally did the fusion technique with that actual gun and he's got the abilities himself. So whatever the gun can do, he can do like all in its glory because he's a part of it now. He can produce ice that can lift multiple ships up. Technically, he can lift hundreds of thousands of tons in this state. In this occasion, when Flash tried to blitz him, he caught his punch. Thanks to his new cold abilities, nerfing him every time he gets near him, allowed him to be able to tag and give Flash a proper run for the money. This kind of makes Captain Cold even more of a threat in a new era. They even state his powers are now a part of him. He's bigger and stronger. So he, one can say whatever he could do with the cold gun, this one can do better. I even go as far as say he can devastate a city with a single blast based on all the ice stuff he could do in the past with his belt being able to make a giant city sized dome with made of ice. There's no implications that he say he can't do the same here. I mean, he's making this stuff effortlessly lifting up different ships, but he got a goofy weakness like controlling them while wet. Trolling ice while he's wet makes him hard to use or whatever. Captain Cold with these new abilities even made a city wide storm with ice. Look how much blast power he does. To the surrounding area of people, Flash versus Captain Cold, literally slug flashed him with a Flash tier. Definitely should be past those planet levels at this point if he's facing him like this. And he's an actual threat. Ice arms and fists. His raw punching power with his ice fist can do this to the ground with the impact of his punching power. Flash has been hit by a lot of beings that he even states. I've never been hit that hard before. It means that he has to be in these powerhouse ranges at this point. He even stated his control of his absolute power has slowed him down. The reason why they can even slug fast. But you know Flash always wins at the end of the day though. How do you like Captain Cold the most? I liked him when he had his powers. I thought it was awesome. When he fused with the actual guns itself. It made more sense that he's actually a threat for Flash. Rather than just Flash speed blitzing him and taking the gun out of his hand. You can't just speed blitz powers out of his hand. You know. But what do you guys think did you guys know captain cole was this strong does it make more sense on why he's one of the rogues of flash now i know outside looking in it doesn't make sense like dude with a gun be able to have trouble with a speed being that can blitz him but it kind of makes sense now that he can make defenses for himself that can slow him down all that good stuff and it even the eyes against the flash especially when he got the powers of him but i also want to give a quick shout out to everybody that's taking the time to donate to the channel it helps out a lot believe it or not respect captain cole <laughs>